Okay. Sailor Moon Rant 3 Part 2 or Part 4, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get the music story now, this time. It's a little louder, because I realized you can't hear it in the, EV, in the previous one. But hopefully it doesn't overpower my voice. So now we're on to the supporting characters. This girl up here. In English her name was Molly Baker. In Japanese her name was Naru Usaki. I don't see the point. Why does she have a last name and none of the main characters do? Of the few characters who have last names, she does in English. She's a supporting character. Yes, yeah, she's the most important sort of supporting character and the most crucial to the story, but the other characters should have that if she has it. Molly was Serena's best friend at school. So it makes sense. And that's basically what she was. She's basically known as Serena's red-headed friend. Uh, Molly from Naru makes sense. It's not difficult to pronounce. Naru, but it's not English. Character below that, this guy. His name was Andrew in English, and in Japanese it was Maki Koitu Futanara. So, as his name is difficult enough to pronounce, I hope I did properly though, um, he is say, she is the boy that works at the arcade. Serena has a crush on him, but it's heartbroken when she finds out he has a girlfriend. Um, his chain from Monkey Kaito to Andrew made sense. The next character are two pictures put beside each other. Melvin and Garu Mano is the first kid. Melvin is his English name. Garu Mano is his Japanese name. He is the dweeb of the school. The second picture beside him is this, the same guy but in the tuxedo. In one episode when he was Molly's boyfriend, um, he dressed up as Tuxedo Melvin and tried to protect her, trying to prove to her that he is, he's not just a nerd, he is, he can protect her, even though he didn't do a good job of it. English with Tuxedo Melvin, Japanese with Tuxu Umokaman. Which made sense because it's almost exact translation except instead of using Melvin he uses his last name and since he didn't have a last name in Japanese in English then since his name was Garu in Japanese and Melvin in English it made perfect sense to change it. Next picture is a little caught up because I had to cut out one of the characters. Because it's hard to get a shot of this guy. This guy in English, his name is Gray. In Japanese, his name is Ryu Luana. He is the boy that Sailor Mercury likes. He also knows how to read the future and turned out to be one of the seven crystal holders. I'll explain about the crystals in a different rant. Gray was his English name. Ryu was his Japanese name. So since there's no jokes, I guess, about Street Fighter, that's why his name is Greg. The boy at the bottom of the page on the left side is Serena's little brother. His name in English was Sammy. His name in Japanese was Shingo Tatsumi, because they all have the same last name. Change made sense. From Shingo to Sammy, yeah. The next two people at the top of the page on the right side are Serena's mother and father, Kairiko and Kenji Tatsumi. The fact is that in the English version their name were mom and dad, since Sammy and Serena were the only two people to address them. That's that's why it's that that's their name. The girl below them, her name 
she, her name is Mika Kasade in English and Mika Kamen in Japanese. She was the girl that Sammy liked in one episode, and in one episode she also turns evil because of the bad guys. Mika, her first name didn't, wasn't changed. Her last name in English was Cassie Dai, and in Japanese was Kamane. I guess that's a more proper last English name, so... It made sense to change it, even though her last name was only pronounced, I think, once in the English version, but multiple times in the Japanese. The person below her is Patricia Haranu, or Haranu Sadidaya. The reason you have the first name and the last name are the same, but in different languages, is because she's a teacher. They usually call her Miss Haranu. She's Serena's teacher, and she's always mad at Serena for skipping class, being late, not doing her homework, eating in the halls, which she should be for being what her job. One episode she does turn evil, but so does a lot of characters. So this is Miss Haranu. She's not married, so she's just Miss. Patricia is never pronounced, I don't think. Maybe once or twice. Haranu is the same in both languages, so there was not really any change made. And if there was, it didn't mean anything. The character below that is Chad. In Japanese, his name was Yorochi Kamimada. So, Yorochi to Chad. Makes sense, because I barely pronounced that properly. Chad works at the temple that Ray lives at. He works under Grandpa. In English, his name was Grandpa. In Japanese, his name was Ray's Grandpa. So, there wasn't much change. I mean, even Serena called him Grandpa. Everyone did. But I'm talking about Chad here. Um, Chad is a proper change. Next girl I'll have below that is Rita. Um, what was her English name? Her Japanese name was Rika K. Um, there wasn't much change. Um, I believe in the English version she did have a last name. I think it was Blade. But she didn't have one in the Japanese version. She turned, she's the character that is Andrew's boyfriend. The fact that she actually had a name didn't really mean much because she was only in three episodes where she actually said something or her name was pronounced. So she didn't make much sense in most of the episodes. Most of the shows. Um, well, that's the end of part two of these characters. So I've done the good, the normal, and next we're doing the bad guys. See you then.